Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech review, We're back with another video today. Today's video, I will show you the first 10 things you should do once you pick up your Galaxy S21 Ultra. But before I get into that video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video is the first 10 things you should do once you pick up your Galaxy S21 Ultra. Again, these are the things I do. I know there's a lot more tips and tricks. I will come back with other videos and show you those. But when you get the phone, listen to me and do these 10 things. So let's get into this video. I don't want to make it too long. It will be long as it is because there's a lot of things you should do. But look how beautiful that is. Mm. I hope more phone I hope more phone companies start doing that or manufacturers start doing that coated glass. I love it. So the first thing you should do is change your navigation boards. I can't believe Samsung 2021 has the little buttons at the bottom when you turn the phone on. I can't believe they actually do it and they show it there, which is just crazy to me. And how you go back into your swipe gestures is actually quite easy and let me show you how to do it. You want to go into your settings. You go into your display, you go down to navigation bar. Right here, you can see when you turn the phone on, it will have the buttons at the bottom. Like I said, it's 2021, you shouldn't have buttons at the bottom. It's just go to swipe gestures and it will show you, gives you hints and everything else on there. If you need help on how to do the swipe gestures, it will let you do it. Now, if you click more options, it gives you even more options. And also you can lower the sensitivity or make it higher. It's quite easy. Make sure you do that. That's the first thing I would do. If it was me, if I was Samsung, it would already been turned on, but hey, it is what it is. The second thing I would do is actually go ahead and change my display to the Quad HD display. Again, another thing that Samsung does is ships this out in 1080p. So if you go to uh, display screen resolution, you can actually do the 3200 by 1440. It comes out at 2400 by 1080. Why do they do that? I don't know. Maybe they want you to get the best battery life. Maybe that's why, but you go in here, you change it to the uh, 2K display and you get the great looking display. Number three is to do with the brightness. So when I swipe down, my little brightness is right here at the top. Normally when you get the phone, it will not be, you will have to swipe down and it goes down there. So how you want to change that to the top, you just swipe down, you go to the little three buttons up here, quick panel layout. On this panel, it shows you three different options. The, the one that you want is the show brightness control above notifications. You want to make sure that's on. So when you swipe down, it's there. If, if it's not turned on, it will be below the notifications, which makes it a lot harder for me. I just think it's simple, it makes it easy. Number four, the thing you wanna do is change your theme to dark and how you do that is back into your settings. You actually go into your display again and it's the first option. You can do light. I don't know why anybody will want that or you can do dark. This saves you battery and plus it just looks nice. Quite simple to do. Maybe Samsung should automatically have that set up. And again, if you wanna turn it off, give you the option to turn it off, but I don't see why that's not just turned on. But that's number four, let's move on to number five. All right, number five, you wanna make sure you turn on Dolby Atmos, cause right now it's not turned on. So how you get there is you go back into your settings, sounds and vibrations. You scroll down to sound quality and effects. So when you get the phone, Dolby Atmos is turned off. Just go in here and turn it on. You can pick up from audio, movie, music, or voice. I just have it on auto, it's pretty simple. Let it do, let it pick the best sound for me. Dolby Atmos for gaming is turned on when you get the phone. You can do your equalizer in here. And if you have headphones on, you can do adapt sound and actually it tunes in the headphones a little bit better for you too. All right, moving right along. Number six is you wanna change your home screen. How you do that is just press on an empty spot somewhere and you go into settings. And here you have many different options. The first thing I would do is home screen grid. You can go from four to five, four to six, five to five and five to six. 
I like five to five. Y'all let me know what y'all use on your phones. Out of the box, I think it's like on four and five, which is, I don't know. I don't like it at all. Also in here, you have your app screen grid, which is same thing. I do five by five, or you can do five by six, whatever you want. On the screen too, you can add new apps to the home screen. If you want to, you can go in here and do either your number or dot for notifications. Also, this is turned on a swipe down for notification panel. Open the notification panel by swiping down anywhere on the home screen. That is actually turned on automatically. If you don't want that to happen, you can turn it off, which I don't know why you want to turn that off, but you can actually do it. So go in here and set up your home screen the way you want it. The next thing is always on display. So number seven, moving this right along. How you set up your always on display. You go into your settings again. You go into last screen. You actually go on to always on display. When you get the phone, it's actually turned off or tap to show for 10 seconds. If you want it that way, you can. But I have mine on the schedule, as you can see my scheduled time. Also on the screen, you can change your clock style on whatever clock you would like. You can change the color. You can add your own photos on here. You can customize it the way you want, which is another great thing about Android. You can show your music information. So go in here and you change it the way you want. If you want to just show it all the time, that's up to you, but you have the choice. So that was number seven. All right, so number eight, motions and gestures. All right, so how you get to motions and gestures, you go into your settings again, you find advanced features. In here, you have a lot of different options. I might do a whole separate video on just advanced features. In here, but you wanna look for motions and gestures. So lift to wake is pretty simple. You pick up your phone and the screen will turn on. Double tap to turn on the screen or double tap to turn it off. When you get the phone, those two are turned on automatically. I like double tapping on both of them. So that's why they stay on. Also, you have keep the screen on while you're viewing it. I, I'm always turning that one off, but if you want to turn it on, you can definitely do so. Also, alert when your phone is picked up. So you pick up your phone and you miss a missed call or a message, it will vibrate. Leave that one on too. And then also at the bottom, pawn swipe to capture, that's turned on. That's why if you want to do the screenshot just going across your screen, you can leave that on too. Most people turn that off for whatever reason. Again, it's your phone. You make the phone the way you want it. So that was number eight. Let's move on to number nine. All right, so number nine is set up your notification. Your notification panel is the way you want it. If you go into your settings, you go down to notifications. In this screen here, you can do a detailed notification panel or a brief one. I like detailed. That's the way the phone came. So I'm gonna keep it that way. But also if you hit advanced settings here, you can go in here and change a couple things. If you don't like the battery percentage, shout out to Big House. He actually will turn that off. But if you want it on there, you can. The next thing I'm gonna talk in this setting right now is show notification icons. You can do all your notifications, the three most recent, the number of notifications only or none. And then also what you can do in here is icon badges. If you want the number or die, I think I pointed that out last time. And you can do that too. So you go in here and change your notifications the way you want it. You can even do flow notifications if you want it that way too. All right, so number 10, I know this video is a little bit long. The number 10 thing that you want to do is into your call background. And what I mean by that is you go into your caller dollar here. You actually go into settings by hitting that three buttons. If you do call background in here, you can actually pick a couple things. You can do the layout, you can do Either way, it's a bigger screen, more information here, or you can minimize it. Also on the background here, down here, if you hit background, you can do a video where it just does this, which is pretty cool. Or if you want to set up an emoji, it does that. Or you can actually customize it. And I have this one, which is pretty cool. That's my own emoji. How you set that up is if you hit the plus sign, you can set it up by using uh, create using AR emoji. You can do something from the gallery, but if you do that, you can pick the emoji or you can add one. Go in there and customize it. I like this one. 
So, so when somebody calls me or I call them, this what actually pops up is actually pretty cool. So that was the first 10 things you should do once you get your Galaxy S21 Ultra. Stay tuned to the channel. I might do a tip and trick video later on. But y'all let me know anything else that y'all do when you pick up a new device. Also, if you like this video or learn something from it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at at Forrest Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace y'all. I'm out. Y'all have a great day.